as a data analyst, learning how to group data together is one of the most important skills. And Pandas has a great function called group by, which is so flexible and allows you to answer so many questions just with one line of code. So what we're going to do is answer some business questions using the pandas group by function. So here are a set of questions that I'm going to answer. We have find out which customers place the most orders and the fewest orders, which countries place the fewest orders, which customers spent the most money, which customer spent the most money on one item, which month had the most orders and what is the most ordered product by country. So let's get started. So I am using a online retail data set. I'll put the link for the data set in the description below. I've loaded in pandas, saved it as a variable PD, imported NumPy, saved it as a variable NP, and imported matplotlib as PLT for some visual plotting. I loaded in the data set and then I made sure that we were only looking at a quantity of above zero. And here's the head of the data, which is the first five rows, which once we read this in and save it as the variable DF, we have access to this function head and we can see the top five rows. And we're going to combine this with group by. So here is the data and we can start answering those questions. However, before we answer any questions, there is questions about money and we can see that there's a quantity and a unit price. So we probably need to create a column, which is a product of the quantity and unit price. And the way we can do that is just multiply those two columns. And I would like to insert this into my current data frame. So I'm going to use my data frame and I'm going to use the insert, oops, the insert function. So dot insert. And we can always see what that function requires by pressing shift tab. And you can see that I need a location and our location is going to be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to pass it a column name and then give it a value. So let's finish off that particular function. Location six. Total is my column name. And then for my particular expression or value, I'm going to say DF and isolate it using the bracket notation quantity times unit price. And we can take another look at the head of the data after we've run that to see what we have. So let's run that. And now we see we have a total for that particular order now. So let's start answering some of these questions. So I'm going to determine that order is an invoice. So I'm going to count the invoices. So now I have access to that data frame. We can start using the group by function and we can always go to shift tab to see what's needed. So we can see that we need to group it by a particular category. And, and whether we want that to be at a certain axis, but let's work through this just to see what we need. If we want to see which customers place the most and fewest orders, I'm going to group it by the customer ID. Then once I have that, I can isolate the column. I want to be my values and I'm going to use invoice number and now I'm going to have an aggregation. So once we group this, we want to have an aggregation account, a max. So we're going to count the invoices. And because I don't want to see all of those, I can now add the head just to see the top five. So now we see five of these, but this is not in an order that shows us the most or least. So what we need to do is sort this data frame. So we can get rid of head and do sort values. 
this is the index and this is the values. I don't need to specify and sort values like which by which column. So I'm going to do sort values, but I do want that to be in descending. So we're going to use ascending equals false. And then we can add the head function to that. So we only see the top five rows. Now we can see which customers ordered the most, the top five. If we wanted to see the top 20, then we would just add 20 to that head. And because we also have brought in matplotlib, we can actually plot this. So I'm going to hit plot. And then how do we want this plot to come out? We want it to come out as a bar graph. So now you have a bar graph with those particular invoices. So you can see that group by is a very versatile function that you can do a lot with. So let's continue. And if we wanted the bottom customers, because we all, we wanted to know which had the, the ordered the least, we would change this to tail instead of head. And that would give us the bottom 20. And you can see all of those ordered one. So I'm going to get rid of the plotting just so we can see that. So we can see all those customers only ordered one value. And let's go back to just the top five. Let's continue with this particular data frame. So we wanted to know which countries ordered the least. So we know we group by customer ID, but we can change this grouping very easily to country. And now we can see which of the countries ordered the least. If we wanted to see which countries ordered the most, we would look at the head of the data. And now we see the United Kingdom is dominant. The next step you may want to do is find out which countries these customers exist in. So we already have country, but we want to group by customer ID first. And in this case, we need two categories. So we need to add a list. And the way we use a list is just with brackets. We can pass customer, customer ID, and then we would group by country and customer ID with customer ID being first. So let's run that. And now you can see these customers and which countries they are a part of. Let's see a little bit more by adding, let's say the top 10. So we know that most, the UK had the most orders, so we can see that most of those customers are coming from the UK. You may want to have a different type of grouping and not have these as an index, because as you see here, there's no label for this column because this is an index and this is a value. We can easily get rid of that. Let's look at our parameters. So we can see as index, we can get rid of that. So we have a clean data frame and then we just pass it Boolean false and we run that again. And now that we have that, we need to specify how we want to sort these values by because they're now no longer sorted by the value. So we want to sort by and then we pass it the invoice number. Now we have this sorted by the number of index invoice numbers. And you can see this so slightly clear because now it's in a data frame fashion. Now that we have this, we have the customer and country, we can easily swap out our invoice number for our total that we created. And instead of our count, we can change this to a sum so we're summing the total amount spent and now we need to change this because we no longer will have the invoice. We're going to have the total. So now we can see which customers spent the most money and which countries they hail from. 
you might get asked which is the most sold item and this will be very easy to put together so we can still use df and then group by let me pull this up a bit so we want to group by this time we have an item description so i'm going to group by description and I'm just going to use this bracket notation as a list. You can pass it one value. And then I want to see the quantity. I'm going to sum that. And then I'm going to also use our as index equals false just to make that cleaner. Then I'm going to sort the values. And then by, we want to sort by quantity. We also want to use ascending. And let's just look at the top 20 products. We run that. And now we can see the name of the product. And we can also see the quantity. Now, if you wanted to change this index, because you can see the original index is retained. And sometimes this is good so we can create different groupings, but you can always reset the index to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 if needed be, just by using reset index and saving over that. If we wanted to know which customer spent the most money on a singular item, we can do that using the unit price. So we can say df.groupby. We want to group by the customer ID time. We want the unit price. And then how do we want to aggregate that? I want to get the max unit price hit. So let's take a look. You can see that we don't have this in order. And then we, we're we not going to worry about the index. So we just use ascending. Now you see someone bought something that had a unit price of $8,142.75. If you wanted to know what that product was, we pass it the list, give it the description, and we should be able to run that. And now we see most of this was postage and uh, these manuals here. And then looks like there's some things at the bottom there. I'm going to take, let's take the first 20. So here, most of it is postage. So we also had a question about orders per month. So we do have an invoice date and let's look at the data types to see if we can pull out the month here, but it's not in a date time format. So we can quickly fix that. So we can do the invoice date equals and then i'm just going to recopy this for right now and then i'm going to use the pandas to date time so i've already said pandas as pd to date time and then i'm going to pass back in that column then let's relook at our data types and there's an error it looks like a spelling mistake in oh we don't need to end there so now that is running and you can see now I have a date time object. And now that I have that, I can create a month column. So I'm going to use, let me put a little bit more spaces here. I'm going to use df.month. It's going to be my new column name. I'm going to use the invoice column. What is it called? Invoice, invoice date column. And then I'm going to, now that this is a date time object, I can use the date time object, DT, and then I can pass it month. And then we can look at the head of the data frame to see our new column. And now you can see you have month there. And now we can just quickly do a group by, group month. And what do we want to group? Let's group the total. Let's sum it. And now let's just plot this because it's only 12. 
and we want to plot this as a bar. And so now we can see which months had the highest amount of total orders by money. And we can see there is a, towards the end of the year, we see a spike in orders. The last question I left unanswered. I think you guys have all the ability to answer this with the group by. Please share, like, and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you think there's anything I could do better or any ideas for videos. Looking forward to the next section. I would like to do a little bit more of these so we can master some of the great pandas analysis functions. Thank you.